PowerShell Pro Tools provides the ability to package PowerShell scripts into services. These services can then be controlled with the Windows Service Control Manager. In this example, I'm going to show you how to create a service for PowerShell Pro Tools extension for Visual Studio. I have a script here that has an on start and an on stop function. These functions are called when a service is started and stopped after it's been packaged with PowerShell Pro Tools. In this example, I'm using the University dashboard, Universal Dashboard Community Edition to create a scheduled endpoint that runs every 10 seconds and writes out to the event log. So when the service starts, it'll start up this scheduled endpoint and every 10 seconds we'll get a message in our event log. On the left hand side, you can see I have a package.psd1 file. This file is used by PowerShell Pro Tools to configure the packaging process. As you can see here, I'm packaging the script.ps1 file I just showed you. I'm outputting that file to a folder on my desktop. Um, I'm using .NET version uh, 4.7.2. I'm packaging it as a service, and I'm providing a couple in, uh, uh, tidbits of information about that service. So the service name and then the service display name. So if we go back to this uh, script, we can actually uh, execute the PowerShell packages executable command. And you can see in the bottom here that it's going to execute that um, merge script command to merge this PowerShell script into a service that we can then install and run on our Windows machines. Now that the package has been created, you'll see that in our out folder we have a script.exe. Uh, this is actually a Windows service. So if we go to a PowerShell command prompt that's running as administrator, we should be able to install this service. So using the install flag for uh, the PowerShell service, we'll execute that and it will install the new service. So if we use the get service commandlet to look for our posh serve service, you can see that our posh serve service is installed but not running. So let's actually start our service. So now as the service starts up, it is uh, importing the PowerShell Universal Dashboard module. Uh, it's creating those scheduled endpoints and then it's starting the, the web server um, to service uh, requests. So now we have our service running. If we check get service again, you'll see that our PowerShell service is now running. If we look at our event log, um, you'll see that our PowerShell service started successfully and now we're uh, receiving um, messages in our application log that is written every 10 seconds um, when the scheduled endpoint runs. To uninstall a service, you can stop the service, and then you can use the uninstall flag of the uh, services executable to actually uninstall the service so you no longer have a service installed in your machine. So in this example, we went through how to create a service with uh, PowerShell Pro Tools uh, extension for VS Code.